you on Bitcoin. Um, I want you to pay attention to going back in history and seeing the buy spikes that we had over here and over here, here, here. I pointed this out before we took off to the upside and uh, there was many instances of this. Uh, we now have the inverse where we're getting the down spikes and this is distribution. This is classic signs of distribution. So everything that they were buying over here, they are now selling from uh, up to here each time it goes higher. Uh, the volume is light to the upside, but heavy to the downside. And we're gonna see an example of this because it's important for you to recognize it. And um, as well, we also have the wolf wave structure, which is a parabolic structure. It's not the kind you want for a stable marketplace. This can lead to big you know, moves and uh, they can be ugly moves. So let's take the first structure point here where we have the drop right down to here from here to there. Uh, that's your point one and two. And then we had our move all the way up to here. This is your point three and four. It's another distribution zone. Fast spikes down, fast spikes down. There's two of them in there one of them in here and they're appearing repetitively and the way they work you see them when they do the drops it's it's a large amount very quickly that's your bigger whale selling and they're selling into the buyers and they're creating the FOMO and then you're seeing all the the news items oh, going to a hundred thousand you get all the the people enthusiastic promoting but the people that were really buying all the way over here are selling it all the way up here and they're waiting for prices to get to a, a you know point of uh, where uh, it's inverted and you know uh, people are in panic or selling again. Um, that's not the case. So we got our last spike up here, and um, we can see the drop that we had was really fast. Again, that's the Bitfinex guys, in my opinion, selling. Uh, but they created the structure: one, two, three, four, and five is the parabolic. Uh, ending point. Now what you look for to have this complete is once it breaks this line, this trend line right here going up from these two tops from one and two, I mean three, um, then you get the, um, uh, the, the exaggeration or the empty spots and when it does break down and we'll probably get into this range fairly quickly, um, it, it could be very ugly and the people are like what's going on there'll probably be some news or something but that's just from the fact that uh, there's all that supply in the market and uh, they're taking it up they're leading the price it's something they've done in the Forex market um, that has gotten a lot of firms in uh, trouble for this type of manipulation but in the uh, current crypto market it's completely fine because it's unregulated and they can get away with it and they're just hoping that you know nobody catches them police can't get a hold of them. They're, they're like, oh, you're not in our jurisdiction. <laughs> well, when the manipulation gets so bad um, and they're screwing up all the, the people in the marketplace, um, they're, they're bad actors. And what's going to happen is they're going to create instability. And it doesn't really mean anything longer term. Um, you know, it really won't have any effect. Bitcoin is a, a great you know, I, I think just holding it alone is a great idea, but still short term, they do cause the instability, which, which I like because of the fact it creates volatility. So, okay. Um, but anyway, we're going to look for that. We're going to look when it does cr crater back down. Um, they'll probably keep it in here for a while until, you know, they decide to dump a larger amount and you'll see a big spike up and then whoosh right on down but let's take a look at that and see what that looks like when they're selling all right so here we have the price and you see it went from the uh, the high end right there and uh, we can go over and look at the spike it's just really fast and very massive in, in size and uh, the reason why that it drops so quickly is because you have one seller with all the volume and so forth dumping a large amount of what he has um, and he's putting it into the hands of the dumb people, as I, I like to call it. Um, the smart money out of the, getting out of the, and, and dropping it into the, the dumb money. 
And that's generally what you've had going on the whole time. And if we go to a five minute chart, you can see this a little bit better. And the speed of which it happens is very quick. Um, it did hold that line in the low 10,000 range, so that's good. As long as they can keep it up there, um, they're safe. Once they flip it under that 10,000, that low 10,000, from this point on, it gets ugly. And that's basically it. So we'll keep abreast of it, and I will be back later uh, in the week, and uh, we'll see what happens. Other than that, have a great week.